Well, today we're studying the impact of Hurricane Ike, which struck a few miles north of where we are today on Galveston Island last October 2008. And this is actually part of an ongoing project in studying how the shoreline has moved through the years and how the beaches and dunes recover after large storms. Uh, Hurricane Ike is the latest event that uh, we're including in our time series here in understanding those processes. Right, we have a, a team of uh, four graduate students out here today, plus myself. Um, they're gaining valuable experience in um, the study of coastal processes and understanding the impacts of large storms like Hurricane Ike. Right, well we have been measuring a series of what we call beach profiles which are topographic transects that we measure perpendicular to the to the beach and we start in the upland area and we move seaward and go over the dune if it if it is even existing, and onto the beach and into the water a little bit. And so we get a, a quantitative uh, topographic line across the beach. And we've been measuring uh, some of these locations along Galveston Island since 1983 uh, after Hurricane Alicia. And also along those transects, we make observations on uh, the vegetation, uh, the uh, types of sedimentary features that we see, how the, how the sand is, is, is arranged. But we have to apply uh, the scientific method. We, we have to uh, check our data sets in order to, to analyze and figure out you know, really what has happened and to make projections on what likely will happen in, in the future. We conduct very detailed and very accurate uh, airborne surveys using a laser system and photography as well. But you still have to get on the ground and repeat these measurements, develop a time series, so that you can better understand what your remote sensing data are, are showing you. Everyone's uh, impacted by uh, sea level rise and um, ongoing beach erosion. Uh, most of the Texas shoreline and much of the Gulf of Mexico shoreline is retreating. And if we aren't wise about our development of these areas, then really everyone pays for it, either in, um, in terms of higher insurance cost or the emergency response operations that it takes to recover from such an event like Ike. And so if we are, are able, through these scientific analyses, develop better policy that will mitigate or allow us to adapt to, to these processes, we'll all be better off. Here at the Heart Research Institute, we're bringing these data sets together and our analyses and interpretations so that we can make them available to decision makers around the coast so that we have a more sustainable coastal environment.